All right, Pinot lovers, we got something really special today. This is Lazy River 2018 Pinot Noir from Yamo Carlton, Oregon. Fantastic region in Oregon, in the uh, Willamette Valley. Uh, some of the best Pinots, certainly from the U.S., come from here. And I actually tasted this uh, first and was going to talk about it, but it was <laughs> still so uh, big uh, that we wanted to give it a little bit of air and decant. So uh, this wine comes from woman winemaker Isabel uh, Mignor, and she has got some great history, some great uh, pedigree. Uh, with her wines and her winemaking prowess. Uh, she's been with Pascal Marchand, winemaker in Burgundy. She's been with Felton Road. She started Evening Land and Lazy River. This venture, uh, they've really been a source of, of fruit for <laughs> some of the biggest names uh, in Oregon. A lot of them, they really prefer not to, to say who, but uh, trust me, you'd know the wineries when you hear them. Uh, this is their estate, and they don't make a lot of it. She keeps, you know, some for herself to make this estate Pinot, and man, the, <laughs> look at the color. We were just talking about it. The color on this Pinot is just really deep ruby. This is a, you know, well-extracted uh, wine, which usually means there's going to be a lot of, you know, nice oh, concentrated fruit, which at first smell, we certainly have that. We got Black cherry, you know, front and sever, center here. Um, raspberry, you know, there's there's Linzer to it. There's mm. almost like a like a Marion berry if you've ever had that. That's kind of like pretty prevalent here. Uh, definitely some nice floral notes. Some pretty uh, some pretty rose petals. Uh, this is a good amount of oak. You know, this is uh, about 25% new oak, and there's definitely some vanilla, some cinnamon, maybe a little bit of a. Uh, Dried herb too, sort of like a like a rosemary that's coming off here. Little hint of that earthy tobacco. Little tertiary is kicking in. It's 2018, which by the way was a phenomenal vintage. So this wine's got a ton going for it. So I'm excited to taste it. I'm gonna do that. That is an extremely mouth filling, um, well balanced. Uh, intricate wine. So fruits front and center, spices still kicking up, those nice baking spices. The acidity though is really holding everything together because the fruit is big. Um, the alcohol is, is very well in check here. Uh, you know, I think we're in 13% or so. The tannins are still firm, gripping, but really uh, well integrated with the fruit, with the acidity. So it gives it a really nice mouthfeel. Really supple, soft, Finish is long, that earthiness, that little tobacco starts to kick in on the finish here. Um, this is a food wine. You know, I'm, I'm imagining duck, I'm, an, I'm imagining uh, turkey, I'm imagining even, you know, some sort of, of, of ribs. I mean, it sounds, you know, kind of a little silly sometimes, you know, ribs with, with Pinot, but this is a pretty big wine and this is an ageable wine. So if you like your Pinot's fruit forward, you know, fruit first, a um, little bit more powerful. This is drinking beautifully. This is going to age wonderfully in the cellar. It's got great scores. It's got gold medals. Lots of good reason for it. Only available here. When you see the price that we have on this for all of the great pedigree and accolades it has, um, this is gonna be a, a no-brainer purchase. Not a lot of it made, so make sure you grab it while you can. Cheers. Enjoy.